Just nowadays they have, which are really great Dharma teachings on Discovery Channel and National Geographic and this kind of thing. In the, you know, PBS is still alive, you know, I think, hope now, the Democratic majority. And they have these kind of shows that, you know, nature red in tooth and claw, you know. And you get to see how animals are, you know, like some crocodile leaping on an antelope, you know, and like scary stuff, you know. I remember when I first meditated on this topic and I would occasionally be sent into the city and then I'd, I saw the living desert, Walt Disney's The Living Desert, when I was meditating on the suffering of the samsara. And I'd been meditating a lot, so I was like empathizing with everything. And I don't know if you ever saw that, but like one tarantula leaps on one like bug, and then a wasp hits the tarantula, and it's like, you get like, ah, you know, <laughs> unbearable, unbearable. The chigla chiksa in Tibetan, they say one eating another. That's the misery of the animal life. You don't have that. So, how much do you truly appreciate yourself is what they ask you, you get asked in the individual vehicle. You know, the Purpapa, the Mabari, the Vipassana people, the Burmese people, they, that's what they're asking their clients, you know. How much do you really appreciate yourself? How valuable do you think you are as a person? What do you think you're capable of achieving? Oh, you're only capable of like trudging along in whatever routine you're in and then dying, that's it? That's all you can do? Maybe you can study and learn a little bit about Mozart or something and listen to Mozart. That's it. Go to the opera once in a while. Stare at the news. Observe the lunatics who run, supposedly think they run this planet. That's it. You're selling yourself way short from this point of view. You are capable of eternal bliss. <laughs> and at least a little sense of it, you know, where you could imagine it. You are capable of self-transcendence. You are capable of diamond-like concentration. You're capable of tremendous amount of things. Understanding the nature of the world, you're capable of becoming like an like a enlightened being that will be a source of blessing and benefit to millions and millions of other beings and enjoying it the whole time. And, 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 and the, the doorway that you are close to, to becoming like that is rarely accessed by life forms, and you have been every other kind of animal, and you will again be if you don't use this opportunity. It's that sort of meditation like that, you know? You know people who are very successful in worldly terms, they make, you know, like, like the CEO life, and they feel their time is worth like thousand million dollars a minute or something, <laughs> you know how they're like, they have no time, I have, I have no time to try to talk to them, right? because they feel it's so valuable, they're because they measure in money, although what value is money going to be to them when they die? None, although it isn't in value to them even when they're, you know, when they're necessarily, you know, uh, they want someone to love them, so it doesn't necessarily help. They actually attract people who want to abuse them, usually. So, so what, uh, you don't want to get something from them, you know? So they're using something that is not of true, deeper value, evolutionary value, and then they're making themselves important, taking care of themselves in a sort of important way. And you have the highest ability of evolutionary value, the highest opportunity to become the most magnificent beings, but you waste your time. It's like even people pass the time. Do you know what? Don't we spend a lot of time like, well, I'm just passing the time. I'm waiting for my golf game later in the day, or I'm waiting for the Super Bowl, or I'm waiting. We're just passing the time. Like, as if it was used meaningless until some other distraction occurred. This all comes from lack of self-esteem in a realistic way of self, form of self-esteem. Really realizing, and here the scientific perspective is very helpful, and the evolutionary perspective is very helpful. Like, what an amazing, I love, I love that Carl Sagan when he would, he would walk around going billions and billions of little genes and atoms and cells and now this amazing human being that's this colony of all these fantastic mechanisms. You know, even though he was seeing it in terms of material mechanisms, still he saw what an incredible thing a human being is with the brains and intelligence. And for spirit, he didn't want to think about spirit. He, was, he didn't want to think about that. But, but um, 
That's useful to think of how amazing you are, and especially if you inject yourself into that evolutionary process personally, that you've personally been all these lesser forms of life, these lesser animals, and suffered their life span again and again and again. Now you're here in this situation where you can really become free, and you can, and of course, you might still have life be in life forms because out of love for others, but you'd never be drawn compulsively toward life forms by feeling, grabbing it out of sheer blind impulse, because you'd be on being subjected to sheer blind impulse by being awake. So that's the first theme, is really value yourself. Mm -hmm.